Assalamu alaikum, my name is Abdulrahman Kureish, I am a student of Comsats University Work Campus and my registration number is FA20 BCS141 and I am a student of B2 section now. Today's topic is about Shalimar Garden. In Sh First we will talk about content. So, number one names, number two location, number three background, number four history, number five design and layout. In the design and layout we will talk about water features, gardens, pavilions, trees and at last we will talk about conservation. First we will talk about names, the name the courtiers told the Maharaja Ranjit Singh that Shala was a Turkey word which means player and the Mar means the palace to live in. This satisfied it changed the garden's name to Shala Bagh meaning Shala meaning in Persian sweetheart with grey dark grey eyes and a shade of red and warm means garden. The courtiers present passed high elogies on the Maharaja's ingenuity in selecting so charming a name for the famous gardens of Lahore and it was ordered accordingly that henceforward the gardens be, be called by that name and written so in all public correspondence. The gardens are however still known as the Shalimar, Gar Shalimar Gardens nowadays. According to Muhammad Istia Khan, the most plausible interpretation, however, seems to be that the word Shalimar is a corruption of original Shalimar. Now we will talk about the location of Shalimar Garden. The Shalimar Gardens are located near Barkpura along Grand Trunk Road, some 5 km northeast of the Hall's walled city. Now we will talk about the history of Shalimar Garden. The construction of the gardens began on 12th June 1641 and took 18 months to complete. During the Sikh era, much of the garden's marble was palaced and used to decorate the Golden Temple and the Ram Bagh Palace in nearby Amritsar. While the garden's costly agate gate was stripped and sold by Lehna Singh Mansutia. In 1806, the Maharaja ordered the Shalamal Gardens to be repaired. The gardens were nationalized in 1962 by General Ayub Khan because leading Rahimiya family members had opposed his imposition of martial law in Pakistan. The annual Mela Chiraga festival used to take place in the gardens until General Ayub Khan forbade it in 1958. Now we will talk about design and layout. Mughal gardens were based upon Timurid gardens built in Central Asia and Iran between the 14th and 16th century. A high brick wall richly decorated with intricate fretwork encloses the site in order to allow the creation of a Charbag paradise garden, a microcosm of an earthly utopia. The Shalimar gardens are laid out in the form of form of a rectangular line along a north-south axis and measure 658 meters by 258 meters and cover an and, co and cover an area of 16 hectares. Each terrace level is 4 to 5 meters, 13 to 15 feet higher than the previous level. The uppermost terrace of the garden is named Bagev Parabaksh, literally meaning bestower of player. The second and third terraces are jointly known as the Bagev Parabaksh, meaning bestower of goodness. The first and third terraces are both shaped as scares, while the second terrace is narrow rectangle. The <coughs> Shalimar's main entrance was onto the lowermost terrace, which was open to noblemen and occasionally to the public. The middle terrace was the emperor's garden and contained the most elaborate waterworks of any Mughal garden. The highest terrace was reserved for the emperor Hari. The square shaped terraces were both divided into four equivalent small squares by long fountains flanked by brick Fayaba walkways designed to be elevated in order to provide better views of the garden. Cascades were made to flow over a marble path in what are known as chadors or curtains into the middle terrace, water collected into a pool known as a hose over which a sitting pavilion was made. Now we will talk about the water features. The Shalamar gardens contain the most elaborate waterworks of any Mughal garden. It contains four ten 
fountains which discharge into wide marble pools each known as a hose the enclosed garden is rendered cooler than surrounding areas by the garden's dense foliage and water features are relieved during lahore's blistering summers with temperatures sometimes exceeding 120 degree for a night 49 degree centigrade the distribution of the fountains is as follows the upper level terrace has 105 fountain the middle level terrace has 152 fountains the lower level terrace has 153 fountains all combined the garden has 14 fountains the garden have five water cascades including the great marble cascade and salmon balloon now we will talk about garden pavilions the building of gardens includes salmon balloon pavilions nakar khana and its buildings hawab ga and sleeping chambers hammam and royal baths the evan and grand hall Ram Ga and Resting Place, Fab Ga and Begum Sahib or Dream Place of the Emperor's Wife, etc. Now we will talk about the trees in Shalimar Garden. Some of the varieties of trees that were planted included almond, apple, apricot, cherry, gokcha, mango, mulberry, peach, plum, poplar, coin, seedless. Sapling of Cypress. Now we will talk about the conservation. In 1981, Sharimar Gardens was included as a UNESCO World Heritage Site along with the Lahore Fort under the UNESCO Convention concerning the protection of the world's cultural and natural heritage sites in 1972. Here are some pictures of Shalimar Garden we can see in gallery. Thank you.